I'm up at what feels like the crack of dawn to try and get first lifts on a powder day in September. Yes, you heard that right. It's the 14th of September and hopefully it's going to be a powder day. As is so often the case here in Chamonix, it seems my dreams of powder might have been scuppered by the wind today, unfortunately. It's not too bad in this little hollow here, so I'm going to persevere anyway, see what I can find. But yesterday it was lovely soft fluffy powder, today much of it has been blown away. But we shall see, like I say, I'm going to persevere anyway, I'm not one to give up on the chance of some turns. I found what I think would be a good spot when I was up here filming my Alpine report yesterday, so that's where I'm heading now. Now, obviously, there's nowhere near enough snow to be skiing on the piece or even in the cool bars up here. It's incredibly rocky up at Fajer, so even though there's 50 centimetres of snow, it still wouldn't be enough. You'd still be bottoming out on the big boulders everywhere. Up at the tour, you only need a light dusting because it's all grass. But yeah, here in Fajer, boulders and rocks everywhere and gravel on the piece. So yeah, you need a base before you can ski up here. But a base is something that I found yesterday. So this slope up here, is what's left of the old snow from last year so not skiing on rocks at all it's powder on top of old snow at least in theory anyway so yeah that's why i come up here to check out this is about as high as i can go before i run out of base and i'm just skiing on top of boulders but i'm going to film the full run top to bottom to show you that this may be token but it is worthwhile nonetheless it's actually a pretty decent length run as long as many pieces to be honest and certainly at the top here, it's pretty steep as well, about 35 degrees, so I should probably get some half decent speed up. There's actually quite a lot of snow up here, it's very wind packed, but yeah, there's at least 30 centimetres. But one small mercy with this wind is as it's blowing up the slope, I don't really need to worry about wind slab, because the snow is getting compacted into the slope rather than being deposited on the lee slope. So yeah, I haven't got any avalanche gear with me, but it doesn't matter, because one, I'm on my own, and two, there's no wind slab anyway. Technique's probably all over the place because it's the first turns in a while, and that's actually pretty difficult snow conditions to ski on. You're going from wind crust to kind of hard packed drifts and back to wind crust again, and with flat light, you can't actually see what you're doing. So, yeah, a bit all over the place, but still worth the effort. Now, I'm gonna go up again. In case you're wondering where I actually am, that's the top of the index chairlift just down there. And I've skinned up that white strip there, which is the Jeep track. So basically, I put my skins on from just below the chairlift, really. The snow's not very deep, but obviously, when you're skinning, it doesn't matter quite so much. Yeah, so I followed that up towards that little lake. And then from there, hop over this moraine ridge and you're onto this old snow patch, which is sheltered behind the moraine ridge. Yeah, this is where I'm skiing. 
take two. That was a bit better. The light's less flat now, so I can actually see what's under my feet and actually ski it a bit better. But anyway, so this is actually a snow report, so how about the snow? So I covered it all in a lot more detail in my Alpine Conditions report, which I uploaded yesterday. So I'm going to direct you to that. I'm not going to repeat myself too much, but there has actually been a hell of a lot of snow up high over the last four or five days. Uh, over 80 centimetres, probably over a metre now. Of course, a lot of that has blown away and there'll be some pretty big wind slams around as well. So if you are thinking of venturing out there on your skis, you need to be careful. There's at least 30 centimetres of snow at this altitude, about 2,400 metres. But again, a lot of it's blown away. But equally, there's some pretty sizable drifts now as well, like here. And the wind is really packing it in, so that's going to help us today and stay and survive as well. But a lot of this snow over the next two or three days will go. The sun's going to come back out again, it's going to be pretty warm. But as I say, I'm sure now we've had our first lasting snow of the winter season, so I couldn't resist the urge to ski something a little bit steep and technical today. So come up to this little cool bar here. Really short, but still, just get a few steep turns. Left branch, dropping. And there you have it, September skiing, not bad. Nothing exceptional or unusual, but yeah, can't complain. Two years ago, we were all skiing from the car park at the tour on 28th of September, so yeah, it's definitely not unusual to be skiing in September, but still got a couple of weeks to go yet before we reach that, so there's no sign yet of any really big dump slowdown, but you never know. Maybe we'll beat it this year, maybe we won't. But it's always good to get the skis out early, get the ski legs going again, and fingers crossed for a great winter.